So, Grenz points out that Bart um, and Colrana were both influential in starting a move towards beginning uh, theology with Revelation. Uh, now, admittedly, Bart and Rana uh, do do that, but it strikes me as um, a, a slightly cool and trendy way of expressing something that was always believed by conservative theologians, i.e. that the Bible provides a foundation and um, direction for theology. Uh, it's not new, this idea that we should take what's been revealed in the Bible and in history as something that should form our theology. It seems to me that simply during the Enlightenment, those cool and trendy people um, in academia forgot about it and then Bart and Rana were influential in helping them to remind it because they were cool and trendy. Um, but all the while it seems to me like the conservative theologians, though I'm not particularly familiar with the conservative theologians in the period, um, again I've certainly read Warfield, um, always treated Revelation as um, a source, an authoritative source for developing their theology. And as far as I can see, that also meant that the Trinity was integral to their thought. So uh, the other day I read, or at least looked at, <laughs> I didn't read all of it, um, I read B.B. Warfield's essay on the Trinity. It was just called Trinity. Um, and that to me sounds like turn of the 20th century Trinitarian theology beginning with Revelation a couple of years before Bart's commentary on the Romans. Um, it seems to me like overstated. Like it, People spend so much time thinking about Bart that they forget the other guys who are writing in the period and their reflections on Trinitarian theology and their beginning with Revelation. It's just that Bart's done something a bit... Um, unconventional and trendy which has meant that a bunch of people have rushed to him um i'm not saying that he isn't a great thinker he clearly is it's just that i don't want people to forget the incredible theology that happened outside of those ivory tower german circles you know i mean i know bart was a pastor and um a lot of his colleagues were involved in pastoral care and, and church ministry. But it seems to me like they miss the point. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Another reflection. Hasta luego.